Today we're going to be answering 2014 FRQ, question number two. And on this problem, we are given the function f of x, which is x to the fourth minus 2.3x cubed plus 4, and the horizontal line y is equal to 4. So f of x, which is x to the fourth, and the horizontal line y is equal to on the first question, we are asked to find the volume of the solid generated when R is rotated about the horizontal line Y is equal to negative 2. So let's go ahead and draw the given function so we can easily visualize what we are working on right here. So this is the horizontal line y is equal to 4. And the function f of x, which is shown and given in the question. So this is our f of x. So in our calculator, let's plug in the value of f of x, which is x to the fourth, minus 2.3x cubed. plus 4. So now that we have our y sub 1 for f of x, let's label f of x as our y sub 1. Let's answer the question which is finding the volume of r rotated about the horizontal line y is equal to negative 2. So this is y is equal to negative 2 and we're going to rotate it in this line so in this case we're gonna have a volume or a solid figure with a hole and we're going to be computing for the volume using the washer method and the washer method is going to give us a formula pi integral of the big R or the big outer radius minus the smaller R or the smaller radius differentiated with respect to X from A to B. So let's go ahead and uh, see the graph of the function so we can find uh, the value of our lower limit and our upper limit. So A and b, which is the point of intersection of the function f of x and y. And y is equal to 4. So when we graph it, it's going to give us this function, which is pretty much the same as what the um, frq is showing us. We just need to figure out what the point of intersection is. So second function, trace go to the intersection so this is the first graph and the second graph and the first intersection is giving us 0 and 4 so this one is 0 and 4 and the second intersection second function trace intersect this is line 1 line 2 and it's giving us 2.3 so this one is 2.3 and the y function is 4 so now that we have our points of intersection we know that the lower limit will be coming from this point right here so it's at 0 and the upper limit of our integral function will be at 2.3 so now let's formulate the uh, function for our big R and the function for our small r. So for our big R, it's going to be the strip right here from the top going to the bottom, which is the first radius that we're going to be using in our function. So big R is top minus bottom dx which we're going to use later on. So r is simply equal to the top function, which is 4, minus the bottom function, which is negative 2. So the big R is simply equal to 
4 plus 2, which is 6. Now for the small r, the small r will be coming from this function right here all the way to y is equal to negative 2. So we're still using the same um, visual right here, top minus bottom. So the slice of this solid figure will have the top function as f of x, which is this function over here, minus the bottom function, which is negative 2. So the small r, or the smaller radius, is giving us f of x minus or plus 2. So that will be our second function, which we are going to be using when we are finding the volume of this solid. So to plug in all the information that we have collected, so the volume is equal to pi, integral from a through b, a is 0 and b is 2.3, r squared is going to be 6 squared minus the smaller r which is f of x plus 2. And we're going to square it because that's what the formula is giving us. And we're going to evaluate this in terms of x. So using our calculator, we'll be able to find the volume of the solid figure generated when the function was rotated at y equals negative 2. So quit math 9. So from 0 to 2.3 we have 6 squared, 6 squared minus parentheses f of x, which is y sub 1, vars, minus or plus 2, quantity squared, dx. And the volume is at 31.470, but we still need to multiply pi in our value, so second function or second function answer multiplied by pi. And it's giving us the value of 98.8678 or we can just write out 98.868 units cubed. So this is how we answer question letter A. For question letter B, we're supposed to find uh, the region R, which is the base of a solid, and for this solid, each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis is an isosceles right triangle with a leg in R, and let's find the volume of this particular solid. So we know that our function looks like this, y is equal to 4, and the function f of x. Now, to be able to better visualize the function as a base of this solid figure, let's draw a three-dimensional graph. So this will be our y-axis, and this is our x-axis, and this will be the function y is equal to 4. And the graph of the function f of x looks something like this. So this is f of x. So according to the uh, problem, this region right here is the base of the isosceles right triangle. So we're going to have a, a right triangle over here. So it, it's an isosceles triangle, which means this leg, or the base of the right triangle, is equal to the height of our triangle. So if, I, if we're going to formulate the uh, integral function for problem letter B, finding the volume of this uh, cross section, we'll have the volume equal to the integral from A through B of the area of the triangle. And we're going to integrate this with respect to x. So 
our A will still be the same as the lower limit from the previous question, which is 0, and our upper limit will be 2.3. And um, the area of the isosceles right triangle is going to be, let's say this is the base, will be top minus bottom. So the top function is equal to 4 minus the bottom function, which is f of x. So this will be the base of our triangle, and the height of the triangle will be the same as the measurement of the base because it's a right isosceles right triangle. So it's still going to be 4 minus f of x. So if we're going to uh, write out our formula, the volume will be the integral from 0 to 2.3 of one half base times height, which can be translated into one half zero to two zero to two point three times the base of four minus f of x squared dx because the base and the height are pretty much identical. So this will be the function that we're going to be using in. Uh, calculating the volume of this cross-section. So using our calculator, now that we have set up the integral function, so we'll have 1 half multiplied by the integral of the function from 0 to 2.3 of 4 minus f of x is y sub 1 in our calculator, and we're going to square it, dx. And it's giving us 3.573, which is the volume of this cross section. So let's round it up, and our volume will be 3.574. Units cubed. And this is how we answer problem letter B. So for problem letter, problem letter C, we're supposed to find the vertical line x is equal to k, which divides r into two regions with equal areas. So if we're going to visualize again our function, this is y equals 4. And this is our function f of x. And according to the problem, we're supposed to um, divide this into uh, two equal parts. And we're supposed to um, write the integral function that will compute for the line that will have an equal measurement of the area of this subregion and the other subregion. So let's say that this is a sub 1 and this is a sub 2, and they need to be equal. So basically what we're trying to prove here is that area 1 should be equal to area 2, and we need to formulate an integral function to find the value of k that will um, cut the area of the region into two equal parts. So for area 1, it's going to be the same method as finding the area of uh, a region between curves, so it's going to be integral from A through B up top minus bottom. Same way with area 2. Integral from A through B up top minus bottom. So in this case, the top function will be 4 minus the bottom function, which is f of x. And we're going to integrate it with respect to x. Now, for our lower and upper limit, the lower limit will be at 0. And the upper limit that we're trying to look for is k. So that value is what we're going to be looking for. And uh, for area of the second subregion, we're just going to do the same process. But this time, area 2 will have a lower limit that will start now at k 
up until the value of our point of intersection of f of x and y equals 4, which is 2.3. And the top function will still be 4 minus the bottom function, which is f of x, integrated with respect to x. So if we're going to formulate a uh, function that will compute for k, it is simply a sub 1 should be equal to a a sub 2, so our function will be from 0 to k of 4 minus f of x dx equal to the function from k to 2.3 of 4 minus f of x dx. And this is the integral function that will compute for the constant k that will divide the two area into two congruent, congruent parts. And this is FRQ uh, question number two, 2014.